Okay, we look like we're live on the gram. We're live on YouTube and up on Facebook. Matt's here. Hello. And we are in a different location only because we're not in the garage, but we were able to get this huge wardrobe that we worked on. Welcome back, everybody. It's been two weeks since Matt and I took a break from Paint Talks. It's just school and college and changes going on and I had a couple of big projects that I was working on. So now that we've getting back ahead of things, we took a well-deserved break. I'm so glad that you guys are here, but we got this girl back inside rather than in the garage. So we don't have to worry about it being hot today. So if you don't mind, this is Martinique. If you guys remember, um, if you missed part one, two, and three, that is still available on Facebook and YouTube. You can always go back and watch the replay. Um, I have obviously been working on this without <laughs> the camera on. So let me just update you on what I've done. So you're not missing out. Um, this section all down this side is almost done. And so what I need to do is to get this side to look like this or similar today. So we're gonna do that with you all right now. Hello, out. Rob says happy anniversary Thanks, and Rob. happy birthday, Matt. Hello, everybody. Thanks, Thanks for being patient. We had a two week break, but we're back. I'm fired up, ready to paint again. We brought this piece inside so we didn't have to sit out in the heat this summer. Um, what have you guys been up to? I released hats today which was my big news and is my big news. So for the very first time, I released a series of hats. Um, they're felt, they're not wool, they're polyester. Um, it was, this is two or three months in the making because finding hats and them being quality and them looking really good, needless to say, I have a whole stack of hats that are going to be donated because they did not work out. So lots of time and energy went into them and I was super excited. We released them today at three o'clock. They've sold out. I know I'm getting private messages and I'm getting lots of emails saying, please, 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 uh, more, more, more. So we will consider that or I will consider that. But yes, they, they did sell out within an hour and a half, maybe two hours less than. I'm overwhelmed and overjoyed that you guys love them as much as I loved making them. So I'm going to work on doing some more. I had custom made labels sewn into them by my, my mother. Um, I had an iris pen to go on each one of them. And um, anyway, I'm really happy about it. Uh, Michelle cannot get on Facebook tonight. It's stuck. Well, that's stupid. Come on, Facebooks. Um, okay, well, you guys that are on Facebook may have to help Michelle out if we need a link or anything like that. I know you guys are super supportive and helpful. So we're on Instagram. Hello, everybody. And we are also on um, Facebook and YouTube. So here's where I left off. This was one that I named Martinique. And the reason is it has like a French inspired, but since we're keeping with our Caribbean, Martinique is an island, apparently. You guys helped me name it um, in the Caribbean. And it's French and in, French inspired. So what I've done since I haven't been on in two weeks, I added this stencil, which is by IOD. Uh, it's the Bohemian stencil and Matthew. I'm going to need it. It's in the laundry room. It was soaking in a bowl because it, it's not in there. It belongs to Michelle. She, she mailed it to me cause she's like that. And uh, I was trying to keep it clean. So, um, I stamped this here with the Bohemia stamp. Remember I told you guys I was going to use black wax. Well, I did. So I also sanded it back really heavily after I added the stamp and then I put clear wax. So this side, over is completely well almost done i still want to add some gold so i'm getting ready to add the stamp here i left this available so i could stamp this and then we're going to use the black wax there we go this is the bohemia stamp that i used hi everybody i'm so glad you're here Ha! Huh? please you know i don't honey this was spotless when you sent it to me and i got to make sure i spin it back send it back spotless um i want to make sure that i continue this look i did do the black wax and the shading over the clear and I really love it and so I left this section so I could show you how I did the stamp add clear wax and then add the black and I also have a DIY's gilding wax that I wanted to add to some of the hardware to kind of just pop it 
I know it feels like forever. Actually, did that feel like two full weeks that we missed pay talk? No, he says, nope, didn't feel like two weeks. It went way faster than we thought it would. But we got a lot of projects done. I swam at night, I swam today. My guns are gonna be sore tomorrow because I don't, I don't I, yeah, they're, I'm gonna be sore, which is gonna make me mad that I'm sore after very little <laughs> workout. With the tank top, you're, you're bringing the gun show tonight. Show me the I am not bringing anything. Show me the Hi gun. guys, I'm so glad you're, I'm, they don't wanna see any of my flabby muscles. Okay, so the way that I did the stencil, and a lot of you probably know this, a lot of you are gonna say, Dion, you're probably doing that wrong because I don't use the stamp very often, but I did not wanna leave these panels undone or without a print. I wanted to load this piece up. I had one lady tell me, oh, it was good until you added the stamp, and I'm like, calm down. It's my artwork, not yours. But, I sanded it back a whole lot. I wanted it to look really worn. And to be honest with you, I'm, I'm even more in love with it now that I put the black wax around the edges and really added the shading. So I'm gonna get that golden wa gilding wax on here. But for now, let's do this stamp right here on this section, okay? So I used old school because of Matt. Thank you, Derek. Thank you. Thank you, Delisa. Matthew? Yes. I used old school because of you. Uh, yeah, after three years of me crying over here in the corner. Crying? Why would you cry over paint? Because. It's, it's kind of like a baby. It's kind of my thing. Paint's my thing. Crying? Paint. Crying? Paint. So our kids went back to school. A lot of you probably saw our back to school pictures. Elijah went back to college. And um, I... Honestly, I had a little bit of anxiety with the changes, just changes. I had some anxiety I had to work through. Um, boom. And we're inside. We're not in my studio, but we're in the front living room right by the front door when you walk into our house because we didn't want to be out in the garage while we did this. So I have a brayer from IOD. I have the Bohemia stamp from IOD, which is Iron Orchid Designs. And I am, I've am i got my old school rolled out on the tray, poured out on a tray. I'm just going to roll that on there. Um, I'm not too concerned with how the stamp looks because I sanded half of the color back off of it. I want it extremely worn. I, of course, never want my piece to look like it just got painted. I want it to look like it was painted years ago. Oh, I'm glad you guys are here. Thank you. I miss you all. I miss you all. It was nice to have a little break. We had some summer nights out by the pool and just kind of chilled, but it really felt weird come 8.30 or 8.40 and I'm looking down going, this is weird, honey. Don't be getting paint on everything now. Honey, you, he, we've got drop cloths, we've got plastic, we have everything over these wood floors. Hello, everybody. Tanya Cribs, where have you been? She's been chilling. She's been chilling? Chilling. Wait, this yep, way. There you go. Um, Tanette. Hi, said, Tanette. Does anybody else think July and August have flown? Yes. They have. It's flown by, and I told Matt today, I really just wish that it would stay warm. I don't like it to be 100 degrees, but you guys, if you follow me for a long time, you know I am not a fan of winter. I don't like being trapped inside. I've got more energy in the summer. Well, uh, Janet from another plant, she says she's ready for fall. Oh, no, no. I'm with, I'm a little bit with you, Janet. She's obviously. in Maryland too, so she must really like cold weather. Does she have, does Maryland have good crab cakes? Well, that's an interesting question, babe. You does want Maryland, to pray and see food? Does Maryland, does Maryland, Maryland, Mar Maryland, boy, that, that was <laughs> That's crazy. really bad. Maryland, Maryland, I can't say it. Maryland, Maryland. <laughs> they have good crab kids. You can't wait for warm weather, Kathy. Oh my gosh, it's cold in, in Australia right now. They have crab cakes. And every state has crab cakes. What do you mean? But I heard, I heard they have really good crab cakes. <laughs> Janet says she's going to send you some, Woodsy. Fresh crab. So if you're just popping on, my big announcement was that I released my hats today, but I wanted to show them to you, but then I felt bad because they sold out so quickly and I, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, they said so there's several people that said they have the best crutches. Okay. All right, so we're gonna have to take a take a trip on y up yonder. Up yonder. We're gonna go up yonder to where the Maryland is, and we're gonna have us uh, some crab. Do they have crab balls? Do they have crab balls up there in the Marylands? What's the difference between a crab cake and a crab ball? Though? I they don't just, know. They just shape it differently it, or something? I think a cake is They squat. flatten it up. It's just probably a and preference. And a crab ball is round. It's a preference of your restaurant. I'm, I'm just saying. Okay, so you're just popping on. This is the piece I was working on. We started with faded burlap. We started with apothecary, and we have added our cake batter. We added hay sailor. We added Simone's garden. We added white to the flowers. And I worked on this on my own. I've done this side over here too. I knew somebody would run with that. And Tanette Major gets the prize. She says, well, boy crap too, LOL. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Karen Brown loves baked stuffed clams. Oh, I've never had that. Oh, Sue. Sue says crab balls are very small. <laughs> well, because they're not enough. Juan of York says they have good crab cakes in the Gulf Coast of Texas, and they do. I remember when Dion used to eat those a long time ago. The stingery. Yeah. We're going back to we're going to uh, the stingery in just a few weeks. My girls for our art retreats coming up in just a few short weeks. I'm going to get to hang out with them. And uh, we will have to do our Wednesday night live paint talk. Oh, we have to do that from the beach. From the beach house. Nice. Nice. Yep. And before that, though, I've got to go to San Diego. We'll have to do one from there the first week of September. Michelle and I are headed to San Diego to see Debbie and Kenise and all the lovely ladies at DIY Go Go. Uh, Artfish42 says you must come, then you must come to New England for lobster rolls. Yes, I finally get to meet you too. Now that sounds, that sounds really good. Lobster rolls. Are you hungry, baby? Because I'm not you just hungry. ate a steak. I'm not hungry. I'm just saying it sounds good. I'm assuming it's a roll of lobster and spices and Probably. You know, stuff like that. Okay, now this is a tricky part, guys. I'm a rookie at this, so I have to do just the edges and, like, not get it over here or over here. So that's the tricky part. Now, guys, did y'all sign up for my text messaging? I sent text message reminders in the email. I sent the phone number. It's not my actual phone number, but it's an app. And we as a team are going to try to notify you. I know that there are a few of you that signed up because I sent the text about five minutes ago or five minutes before we started. Just in case Facebook isn't working or YouTube, you don't get your notification. I sent out a number and said, I will send you a reminder. So if you want that, uh, we'll post it here. Okay, the lobster roll, it's lobster and melted butter on steamed hot dog rolls. Hmm. You just, you just fell, Matt, you just made Matt fall in love. Whoever uh, said that. Apparently, this Artfish 42, apparently I have got to go to New England and get some. Well, we were supposed to last year. That Derek was said the text worked great, by the way. Okay, see, Derek signed up for that text. Good deal, Derek. I, once I get more used to it, because I send it out to all my membership groups, but once I get more used to it, I'll give you a better notice of five minutes than I did. Hi, Amy O'Connor. So now this question, is it the same text as the Creative Connection? It's the same app thing. It's the same phone number, too. But you got to tell me that you want Iris Insiders, so I know. Um, and because Michelle can't get on the Facebook tonight, um, she's very frustrated. So my apologies, you guys. But we, we can post that on Wednesday night, okay? No worries, me, Michelle. This is tricky on this corner because I don't want to overstamp. Judith, uh, she says, I love the Bohemian stamps. Thank you. I, um, oopsies, that one's Caddy Wampus, and I got it on there, and that does not look good. Did you just 
throw something and then it went under? It's a paper towel. Oh, I can't reach it, maybe. I don't know, I didn't think it was going underneath there. You know what I have to do is just use water and it comes off. Maybe. Yeah, because water reactivates this paint. Okay, that looks like crap. Yeah, not cool. I'll fix it. You're going to fix it? It's just But then of... right here on this side, I have another real thin edge. I'm, I'm going to sand that back and do what we did over here because of this side. Don't you think this looks wonderful? Are you asking me? Like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like it a lot. Yes. I feel doubt in your voice. No I doubt. I feel... No, no doubt. None? No, no doubt. Like the band. Okay. You know, Gwen Stefani? Hello. Yeah, I know her. Hello. Okay. <laughs> now Michelle's just... She's fuming. Michelle's making fun of me. She says, you are so knowledgeable about DIY paint, Matt. You are awesome. <laughs> All caps. All caps. <laughs> well, you are, you are. You've learned. Reactivate. I'm learning. I'm learning the process. So, Matt, what was your favorite part of the summer vacation with having the boys home? Best part of the summer vacation? Yeah, with having the boys home. Then going back to school. That's not true. That is not true. Um, man, there's so many. Sorry, you're not home right now, Jamie. You are walking into spider webs. Don't do that. Don't do that, sissy. Um, lots of good, lots of good things. Thank got, you, Jamie. I got them in the pool a few times. I'm loving this side. Um, got to go on vacation. Semi vacation. Okay. You know, you know, good stuff. Eating dinner together was nice. Okay, so while this is drying, sorry guys, while this is drying, because I got to get this side to look like this side, I used black wax. Um, I used clear, but I stopped the clear right here. Um, but all of this goodness, um, I'm going to take our gilding wax and I'm going to highlight the white flowers with a little bit of the sheer wax, and then I'm gonna highlight this enormous piece of hardware because it is gorgeous. While that is drying, then I'm gonna sand this, clear wax, black wax, bada bing. I love this thing. Thank you for sharing this. Um, Amy, thank you so much, I appreciate that. This is a gorgeous piece of furniture, so it's just been a real joy to work on it. It spoils me, because then I don't wanna buy anything that's not this beautiful. Yes, Jamie, it is a song. It is. It is a song by Gwen Stefani. She was in Oklahoma recently, of course, with her husband. And they were at this little place just singing, just having a little get down. And I thought, my gosh, can you imagine just be sitting there having dinner and Gwen and Blake walk in and sit down and start singing? Uh, Old Red. Old Red, I think, is the name of his place, right, guys? Those of you in Oklahoma, is it Old Red? I don't know. It's like a, it's like a burger bar or something. We have never been down there. Tishomingo. We played baseball, or no, we didn't go. Did we, we didn't go to Tishomingo. Okay, so this is the little gilding wax, and I'm using a stencil brush. I'm just kind of cramming it into that black wax because I, I put the black wax on pretty fairly recently. When we're finished, I will bring the camera up closer so you can see all of that closer see the can you see the goals from here Matt how it looks over the Monet's garden um not really it's kind of it's it's hard to see. I can see it but it's hard to well, see well it it's pretty camera. subtle it's yeah. not like the golden ticket because the golden ticket is much more vibrant but I know you can't see it on the camera but I just want you to see that I'm putting it over the white flowers kind of shoving it down in there it's got a little sparkle to it A little, a little shimmy shim? A little shimmy shim shim. You can really tell the difference on camera um, from one side to the next. You know this what I mean? one's fabulous yeah. and this one's getting there. Yeah, it's a good comparison actually. I, I was hoping. I was totally hoping. Uh, Marla's Phil Dean Walker. Hi Marla's. She I says yes, you. awesome food at Oh, really? Oh, so you've been to Tishomingo, huh? Yeah, that's not that's not too far from you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have Heather Watson joining us this evening. <laughs> Heather Watson. Oh, hi, Heather. So guys, if you're popping on and you're wondering what's going on, I'm working, this is part four of this makeover. Um, the side over here has been painted. That side over there is not. I'm gonna use it as a tutorial and film it, make it just a real step-by-step -step fast tutorial, but I am just using our gilding wax from DIY right over this Monet's garden and white. This has black wax shadows. I told you all I was going to use black wax. I know some of you were real too sure about it. I, for one, am in love with how it weathered this piece. I still think it looks very soft um, and worn. And if you remember, I took our, in, our neon yellow and actually tripped the neon yellow down the front of it too. I can see much more on Instagram. You know, the view is much better on Instagram because you see it almost to the top of the piece on Instagram and you see both sides. So, um, yeah, it's quite lovely. It's quite lovely. Okay, so let me get this real quick before I forget, and I'll sit back down for just a second. So your favorite part of the summer, you're really going to go with the fact that the kid, when the kids went back to school is your favorite? Uh, Stephanie has a okay, question. Does the building answer. wax have a softer look than the patina. Yes, it does. It's very soft. It's very soft and very sheer. Um, I will bring you guys closer. I want you to see this. So this is the side that's that's so weird. Mm -hmm. It's just weird. It look it, everything feels weird here. Um, so this is the side where I've put the black wax, the clear and the black, and then I just put all of the gilding wax down in here and on the hardware. I love all the layers, guys. I just love this. So now I need to make this little section look like the rest of the piece. Okay. Very exotic, says Beverly Goodman. How are you, dear? Miss Beverly from San Diego. Thank you, Stephanie. So if you were um, wondering what my big announcement was, well, I had hats released today at three and I was gonna show them all to you, um, but they sold really quickly. So I'm feeling grateful about that, but I don't wanna feel like I'm teasing you by showing them. <laughs> yeah, that's not nice. Okay, I am going to sand about half of this color back off. They're going to ask me what grit this is, and I don't have a clue. I just grabbed it out of the cabinet. That looks like... Oh, my. Oh, my. That's probably, you know, a, a 123, maybe. A maybe. 123. Or, or 133, you know. Somewhere like that. Talk to them because I'm too busy. It's making a mess. I thought you told me to. You went, you went like this with your hand over your throat. And you're, that means don't talk. No. <laughs> Did they have any questions? No questions at this moment. Um, Jennifer, I mean, Key, love seeing you standing. I like this. Thank you, Jennifer. Lisa make... Dixon, she's so, so beautiful. Dion, heart face, heart face, heart face. Thank you. I love this piece. I love that we have this electric, like neon yellow dripped in here. There's some blue dripped in here. It's totally just a little bit, it's a little bit Dion. 
Uh, it just really is. Delisa Dixon, what did you put the stamp on with? Was it old school? It was old, old school. It was old school with the brush. Honey, your voice echoes in here because of the hot <laughs> <of> force. <laughs> Uh, Rob would like to know if I was romantic for this year's anniversary. Good question, Rob. I would like to know the answer is myself. You were, you want to know if you were romantic? Well, we went out to, um, it was a Thursday, right? So we went out to a restaurant and he shaved his face. And he wore his wedding ring, like and, his gold one. And he wore cologne. And you wore underwear. What you cut? I oh, did, you combed your hair. I did. Wear oh, you underwear. didn't wear a hat. He didn't wear a hat. So we went to a restaurant, just the two of us. It was very nice. And then we came back and we watched a movie. And he was kind enough to watch. <laughs> <laughs> he was kind enough to watch Palms, P O M S, which is Diane Keaton. Oh, no, just Palm. Palms, no Palms. Oh, Palms. Okay. All right. It was at Diane Keaton, and it was a bunch of. Um, it was a, a movie about older women and men in a retirement village. But these women wanted to start a cheerleading group because they had always wanted to be cheerleaders. And I enjoyed it very much. And so I wouldn't say that was very romantic, um, but he did say he wanted to take me to the Artesian, a hotel here in Oklahoma for a couple of nights. Um, but getting away is just pretty much. So one of these days we're gonna do that. Thanks, Derek. So he did a, he did a very good job. He was very sweet. I was looking good. And I was. was feeling good. <laughs> oh my God, she's so mad at you. LOL, I'm dying. Oh. <laughs> no, he was he was super. He, he's always good. Wrote me a really, really mushy card about how much he loved me and all the things. I did. I, I did get you a card this year. This year. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> silly. 23 years. So 23 years married. We got married the Three days after he turned 21. A lot of people just watched it. Just watched what? That movie? That movie? It must have been recommended. I just watched, Cheryl said she just watched it. I've seen it. It was funny. It was funny. And then, and then the next night we watched Fatherhood with um, Kevin Hart. So, so emotional. It was an hour and what, 30 minute movie? Yeah, and I cried for an hour and 20 minutes And she it. cried for an hour and 28 minutes of it. Oh, it's rough, you guys. Marlis L.D. Walker says the artesian in sulfur. It's awesome. Well, that's the one, sis. He wanted to take me. He was going to book it without asking, and he knows what a risk that is. It's a huge risk. So he opted to not, and so he's waiting on me to pick when we're going to go. And um, As of now, we have nothing. We, we do not have a date set. That would mean leaving the 16 year olds and we just don't do things like that, so. Thank you, Janae. She said happy anniversary, congrats. Thank you, thank you so much. It's been a good week. That's another reason why I took time for Offer and Pink Talk because I just wanted to enjoy the, the celebrations and notice them and notice each other. <laughs> Dion and I are very, very content with being home. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we are homebodies. We are homebodies. But we both decided we needed to go. Yeah, we do. We need to. And I'm, I would like to. It's just hard to get away for a couple of days. And Marlis, that was on our list to do. That is correct. What'd she say? Uh, couples mm -hmm. massage. Yeah. Massage. Massage. You don't have to say it. Is it French? Thank you, Maureen. Is massage French? Where's yeah, Lolly? We need to do need something her? special for your 25th. I think we're going to go to Hawaii for our 25th. He doesn't know that, and he's not really interested. What did you just say? 
Um, you've never used DIY and everyone tells you not to use it. <laughs> um, so I've been using it for four years and it is by far my favorite. It does the hard work for me. It's a, it's a clay based, so it blends like a dream and all of my finishes are blended because um, you get more of an artistic look that way. That's not store made, but it's actually an authentic finish of a piece that maybe you could have seen a hundred years ago. And that is why I use DIY and why I think it's so wonderful. It also doesn't have any smells, so I can use it in my home. It doesn't give me any kind of headache or anything. Uh, but you might ask everybody else too, um, why, why they love DIY as much as I do. Lots of reasons. Yeah, the no odor is a big one for me. Yeah. Because if it had an odor, <laughs> I wouldn't have a studio in the house. You would not have a studio in the house. Sounds kind of mean, man. It really does sound mean, but that's that's not it. So, do you see the goal? I do. Yes. I need to do it kind of up in there. I think I'll continue that. So the white, and then it has just a little bit of the gold gilding wax in there. So this is the clear. Um, so we're getting this side to look like that side. So I'm gonna start up here, I'm gonna raise the camera up because I put the clear on here this morning. So it's dry, I'm gonna get the, the black on there so we can do all the shade. I'm just having a great time. Okay, let's raise this up without everything falling. Thank you, Betty. Robert said, uh, or excuse me, Rob, uh, renew your vows, question mark. Oh, we could do that. We can have the boys. They could like stand We've up talked for about us. The, doing that and having the boys stand up for us. So Elijah could be with on, for the bridesmaid and then Olin, Olin could be. I knew that was coming. The, Elijah the would, be, would be on my side as a bridesmaid. I knew he would do that. Delisa Dixon. I took it easy on you. I did. I had some really tough, hard-hitting questions. Oh, Matt got to interview Delisa. And That's right. Dion said, you better be nice, and I'm watching you. And every time I was going to read my questions, she was pinching me. You didn't see it, but she was pinching you're me. You're acting like you're mean, and you're not. You would not do that to Delisa. She had a hard time getting on, on the line. <laughs> right? But we got her on there. It was good. I'm going to add the black, guys. I'm going to get just a little bit, guys. It's like very, very soft. And then once I get it on here, I'm going to blot it down on my drop cloth. Did you hang up? Yes. Who was it? I will tell you later. So black is just going to go around this edge. Give me five more minutes, guys. I want to show you how we make this look like that. days I need you to help me with this whole waxing thing. This is a big piece of furniture, Lindsay. Okay, again, dot on the drop cloth so we don't have any big blobs. It's gonna be real easy with the black. I did put clear down first. I'm gonna go right over the hardware. It's okay. We're getting there, aren't we? Mm -hmm. We're getting there. Mm -hmm. Now, are you going to bring that wax up all the way to the top of those flowers up there and everything too? Yeah, I just need a step stool. Gotcha. Yes, love. Uh, oh, see this gold is so subtle. Gold with the black wax and the blue and the yellow, that buttercream yellow is just on point, Woodsy. On point. It's on point. Bruh. 
You know, I'd just like to say that it's on point. I feel like that was a make fun. Not at all. I was just emphasizing the on pointness mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. That is Matt saying, I feel bored. I'm going to make fun of Dion. Robert, Rob says, does Dion ever use the wax drill attachment? The wax drill attachment. I don't even know what that is. Wax drill attachment. So the answer is no. Uh, yeah, we're going to be a, be a no on that. I have not used any attachments. Old school, old paint pixie ways with the brush that I love so much. Digging that wax in there. That's all I know to do. Crystal Core Marie Molina says, hey, Rockstar. Hey, girl, what you doing? Hello. But I think we're ready to see Crystal on some live videos, aren't we, guys? Is she going to be putting some out? She should. She loves being put, put on the spot, too. For reals. For reals. Let's see. Three minutes, guys. Um, Cheryl says it is pixie wax brush attachment, I believe. Yeah. You put it like on a drill? I have no clue. I've never even heard of that. Do you put it like on a drill or something? I don't know. Maybe. Why would I not know about a paint pixie drill? I don't know. I don't know. Somebody please tell. Oh, thank you, the Brave Girl Project. Uh, thank you, Callie. I appreciate your compliments. And Betsy, Callie, thank you, dear. I did get my card out to Atlas. Janae says, I feel like these lives with you, Dion, are College Art 101. Priceless, the cabinet is so beautiful. Oh, Janae, you're just the sweetest person. I appreciate you. I'm glad that somebody feels like they're learning something from me because I, every once in a while, I'm like, am I teaching anything of value? So it's nice to know. Thank you. Hello, Pam Dudley. I don't want to bore you guys and not give you any type of good... Info. I guess when they stop watching, which it might be a good indication. Yeah, yeah, that would that would do it probably. Derek Carlton says it's looking stunning. Thank you, Derek. It's, this one's gonna be hard to part with. I'm not gonna lie. This one's this one was spectacular before I started painting it. Who was on that last podcast, honey? I like the. I'm sorry. Who was it? It was uh, Lee. Was it Lee? Lee was on Thursday. Yeah, that was a good one. She's she's funny. She is funny. She's got a good story too. Lee, she's wonderful. Yeah, check that out, guys. So we it's hit really twenty thousand downloads on the podcast this week, guys. Thank <laughs> you. I don't know if that's good, but it makes me feel like it's good by hitting a big number like twenty thousand downloads. Um, but yeah, thanks, guys. We um, we had Josie Seeker on this Thursday. Guys, if you're thinking about submitting to the journal, I would love more than anything if you would submit to the Turquoise Irish Journal. You have a few more weeks to get your submissions in. It's open to anyone and everyone. Those of you that go, oh, that's for other people, not for me. I need ceramic people. I want portrait artists. I want lifestyle artists. I want all kinds of different things in the journal. So um, anyway, guys, we're going to wrap up tonight. It's so good to be back after our little two-week hiatus. Thank you for being patient with us and showing up for us tonight. Um, I missed you, and I missed um, – this is new. I don't think we've ever painted in here in this front room. I've never painted in here. This Matt's is, sitting on a couch, so he's feeling like, oh. I'm about to lay down and take a nap. You're going to take a nap? It's bedtime. I'm about to lay down and go to bed. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks for the heart on Instagram. And if you're watching the, the – um, replay i would love more than anything if you would just sprinkle this around and pass it around and share it or if you don't have time to watch it all right now maybe you can come back and and share it jane Belante, thank you so much if i submit <laughs> right would you get bonus points <laughs> you're so clever crystal don't forget the likes and the shares we thank appreciate you. it always designs by Pippin. thank you miss friend um all right, I think that's it. Any, that's it. No more questions. Any birthdays out there today? 
There is a birthday. Uh, I don't. Birthday? I don't remember who it is. Oh, I'm drawing a blank. Should we just sing Happy Birthday just cause? Nope. Oh, all right, everybody, we'll be back Wednesday, 8.30 Central Time. I'm not sure if I'm going to be working on the side of this. I don't want you to, you're very welcome, Susan Martin. Thank you for being here. Um, I don't know, I don't want you to be bored, so I'm not sure if we're going to do more of this on the other side or if we're going to start a big, huge abstract. Or Matt might paint, right? Good night, everybody. See ya. See you guys. Thanks, Jen.